real estate recruiting is officially dead. Chances are you're looking to recruit more agents to your team or your brokerage, and you're constantly finding the best way to go ahead and do that. And maybe you just haven't found it yet. So right now I'm here to tell you that recruiting is dead and there's a new way and you must focus on that instead. Right now, more than ever, it's important to shift your strategy to more of an attraction based method because everyone out there is chasing agents when it comes to recruiting. Recruiting is the same thing as chasing. And if you're just chasing, you're actually effectively pushing everyone away. Right now, things are getting competitive. There's new brokers emerging every single year and things are getting really, really competitive and expensive and everyone's doing the same thing. Right? So if you're not doing what everyone else is doing, you are doing it correct. If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you are doing it wrong. So you don't want to compete with everyone because what competition does is it erodes profits. In fact, Peter Thiel, the founder of PayPal said this, he says, competition erodes profits. You do not want to do what every other agent attractor or recruiter is doing. You have to be different. In fact, some of my clients down below, I'm going to mention them. They've actually been doing a very unique strategy that allows them to get paid to attract. So again, now we're flipping the script. Not only are we getting people to come to you, you, but they're actually paying you as well to join your downline, your team, or your brokerage. In fact, some of the clients that have helped down below, people like Sammy have attracted 29 agents into their downline in less than six months, all while making $300,000 in profit. Or Joel Johnson, who attracted 41 agents in just less than three months. Or William Cabral, who's attracted 32 agents in about two to three month period as well. So uh, he's done uh, exceptionally well because he's also making $100,000 a month online. So that's all from his laptop. So it's not just recruiting and attraction, but they're actually getting paid to attract. Now, I am going to talk a little bit more about what they're doing a little bit later on, but I want to talk about the most important thing, which is why real estate recruiting is officially dead. If you were to ask me the word recruiting, it just doesn't sit with me right. Because if we look at recruiting, it's like the World War One recruiting or World War Two recruiting. We want you. I want you. Right. And it just seems like very aggressive and it doesn't really uh, come across as uh, genuine. It comes across as very salesy and everyone is doing that right now. So when everyone is doing that, it's actually quite easy to just do the opposite of what they're doing. Right now, the thing is, and the disconnect is people don't know what that opposite is. How do you actually attract people? Right. Because chances are you might be using Indeed ads, but that's still chasing. You're just paying to chase people. Right. And I get it. Like, I'm going to talk a little bit more about all these things in detail, but you have to do something that's different because all the agent tracks that I know that are top of the game, they're getting agents that are coming to them, booking themselves on their calendar and actually, you know, reaching out to them by messenger. One of my clients, Sammy, I just talked to him earlier. He actually told me, he's like, he's never actually reached out to someone to go ahead and partner with them in his brokerage. They actually reach out to him. So that is what you want. Because like I said, if you're doing what I'm also doing, you are doing it wrong. You see right now, like a lot of the advice out there for traditional recruiting methods, like cold calling, cold texting, cold emailing, you know, even in-person presentation stuff. And it's just not ideal. You know, a lot of times uh, people are also posting Instagram on YouTube, don't really know what they're doing. I mean, I can be the first one to speak on YouTube. It is exceptionally hard. You know, we as a company uh, and like my, my founders specifically, uh, we have 11,000 subscribers on one of our channels and that took a very long time to get. And we know how much effort and let alone how, how cost it was. I mean, even this camera setup right now costs uh, over five thousand dollars to get everything set up. So I mean, it's not cheap, right? So what I mean is like you need to go ahead and do a lot of work. And a lot of the mainstream advice out there right now, when it comes to traditional recruiting, is just really how to chase agents, how to chase them, and how to hound them and put a numbers game, and hopefully get a couple people to come and join and partner with you. And that's not the ideal approach you want to take, especially if you want to have a high performing real estate organization. And I get it; like, it can be something that's really tempting to follow this advice. But like I always like to take the alternative approach. I mean, as an entrepreneur from myself, I've always had the most success doing what everyone else wasn't doing. And like I said, it's easy to get fooled in, but I always want you to consider this as well and just take a step back and think about it. Like, well, if I'm doing what everyone else is doing, if I'm doing what John is doing down the street at his brokerage, I'm really just doing the exact same thing as John. And then it becomes a race to the bottom because competition, like I said, erodes profits. And that's why you end up bringing the agents that are not really ideal. They come and they go and they leave for the next cheapest offer. And that's like not really what you want if you want to have a team of assassins of like these Navy SEALs, right? Because that's how you really get paid right uh, in, in, in any entrepreneur industry in any business the best is always uh, gonna beat the rest right it's key right so in order to be the best you can't do what the rest is doing I also want you to consider as well like a lot of this advice that is being pushed upon you that is like traditional recruiting advice is becoming from people that already have a lot of money and they've been in the industry for a long time so they've been real estate coaches they have brokerages that have a lot of cash flow they can go ahead and even lose money on attracting agents or let's just say like when it comes to, like downline attracting and stuff as well like a lot of the people are our early adopters and uh, if you actually look at that you know like what worked many years ago is not going to 
work right now because competition has been going up every single year right and you know what they did like five or six years ago really what really worked for them was time compounding in their favor and a lot of their strategies are not as effective until right now right so you have to completely innovate and industries you know they always have to go through new waves they're always constantly innovating and the people that don't innovate they actually sadly get left behind because like the last thing that you want to do is you want to you know spend all this money and time trying to get someone you might spend months and months going ahead and trying to go ahead and get them to join a partner with you i've actually spoken to agents that have spent six or 12 months just to get one or two people to join a partner with them which is a lot of work and then those people because they've sort of been chasing them already they already come in with like you know one toe in one toe out and the issue with that is like you know they spent all this time and effort all this you know time that probably took away from production to bring them in and then they leave and all this time and effort and money and energy has gone down the drain right so that's what you do not want some people can't afford to do that but like first of all that's also very inefficient even if you have the money so there has to be a better way out there and i'm going to be covering that very very shortly before we get to that if you guys enjoyed this video so far please subscribe and share the word we're trying to go ahead and change the game when it comes to agent traction recruiting give the best free advice out there so go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the post notifications and like the video so before we get into this like, best method of attracting and recruiting agents what i want to say is this a lot of people as well also use indeed ads or like these wise hire recruiter services and here's what i've also seen with those methods right sure you might get some people applying but those same agents that are applying they also view real estate as like a job as a nine to five and i've just seen that personally from the people i've spoken to in my network they don't have that entrepreneurial business mindset right like i mean they're already like shopping for jobs and that is one of the big red flags i see right away especially if we're trying to have a high performing sales team culture but on top of that as well what i've also seen is if you have an ad on like indeed or wise hire or whatever it is right that ad can be copied with someone else and many times that's what people do right i mean sometimes i mean you might be the one uh doing this right now uh is like you look at other people's ads and offerings and you just try to like one up them and make it cheaper the issue is that like now you're just a race to the bottom and when you ha you don't have no margins you're actually attracting the worst right so you actually want to bypass all that and do something completely different because if i were to speak to some of the top agent tractors that i know personally they're doing everything different in terms of like the agents coming to them the agents are reaching out to them booking on their calendar calling them and you gotta ask yourself is that happening to you right now right and if it's not then you're doing something wrong because if we compare that to other alternative options i mean there's also like stuff like recruiting services out there as well that will just go ahead and like play the chasing game for you but will charge you for it and they'll just do more of those outreaches for you they'll set up linkedin automations you know cold calls uh they'll cold text and cold emails they're just delegating that off of you they're still fundamentally chasing and sure you might bring in some people but the people you're going to bring in are not going to be the right fit because in the end of the day if you have a team or a brokerage right you get paid on how much your agents also produce right and that's ideally how you want to get paid as well and you know when you're bringing the wrong people from a cultural fit and you know just like general motivation stuff you're sort of setting yourself uh, up for failure right you're shooting yourself in the foot because people is what makes great companies what makes great organizations what makes great good sales teams right and you want to have a system that allows you to track the right people in and filter out the wrong people so the burning question really is this like what is this best way? What is this best way of getting agents that are motivated and actually want to win? And, you know, they come in and uh, they view you as the expert and they actually respect you um, and in general to set you up for uh, success. What is this way? Well, the secret lies in selling a paid digital product as an attraction magnet. Now, the key is not giving it away for free. It's actually selling it because I didn't mention give it for free. A lot of people are already doing that. It's selling it first, making a profit, giving them value on the back end as well. Right. And then now you get paid to attract and now you parry, cherry pick all the people for your local real estate team and the people that are maybe outside of the local market. Um, now you can go ahead and attract them into your brokerage. If you're a downline broker, especially, I mean, one of my clients, Sammy does that, right? So a lot of his clients that he sells on for digital product, he makes like a hundred grand a month already. The last month, I think he had like a hundred thousand dollar a month. He's done really well. And the people that are like, uh, he has a real estate team in British Columbia, Canada, and also Ontario. So people that are in BC and Canada, he says, you know, Hey, look, like you've been doing pretty well in the program and you know, you still make you motivated and I want you to, to join my real estate team locally right i think it'd be a great addition and we can all make money together so that's how he says a local real estate team if someone that buys a product from like you know oregon or like california he just goes ahead and asks them to partner with him as downline right so there's a lot of things that he does and you know you get the best of both worlds so now you're getting an income but you're also attracting and recruiting the right type of people and those people actually produce for you and that's exactly what you want right so everything's sort of like a symbiotic relationship it all works together i mean if we just give you guys another analogy i mean let's talk about you know your real estate business and like production right the people that have watched your content on youtube YouTube, especially if you're doing like TikTok and reels and they're reaching out to you these are usually the best type of leads other than referrals right and they, it's just because they know they like and they trust you right so at the same time when it comes to agent attraction recruiting you want agents that have already sort of pre-sold themselves onto you as to why you are the best option before they ever speak with you when it comes to agent attraction recruiting right and the best way have i've seen is to use a digital product and what i've actually seen and from personal experience from my clients is that sometimes a lot of these agents have seen your ads all over the internet and they they don't even buy digital product they send you a dm or email and they're just like dude i want to join you and that's without even buying
buying a digital product, right? But another benefit as well, it's like, let's just say I am running ads for digital product. I'm, you know, helping all these agents, full transparency. You can speak to a hundred plus agents a week. And I've done that myself, but even one of my clients, uh, Will, he has two salespeople and they're taking eight calls a day. So you can just uh, take about 40 calls each a week and 80 calls. So 80 agents are speaking to him and they're viewing Will as the expert every single week. Now, a lot of the agents are going to pay him thousands of dollars to get access to the digital product, right? Now, what if they can't afford it? That's when his salespeople say, hey, look, Will offers this very unique program. We can everything for free. Would you want to discuss that? They say, yes, book me on with Will. Will goes ahead down and pitches them his downline right? And he said, you can get it all for free. So there's another way as well. You don't have to always sell digital product. Now we recommend selling digital product, but people that can afford it as well, they can go ahead and join your downline like that. But the best way as well, like I said, which you're still going to be doing is you sell them a digital product and they get value on the back. And then when they got value, you reach out to them and be like, Hey, look, I already gave you so much value. I'm sure you're loving it. I would love to extend the invitation for you to join my Dolga real estate team or brokerage, whatever downline, whatever you have, whatever you have. Right. And that way you already have that no like, and trust, and you don't lose money in the process. And on top of that as well, like you actually get the right people coming coming in. And I think that's the most important thing because people first. So you can see how excited I am about this because this stuff actually works. And that's why I make these videos because I want to educate you folks on the best way to attract and recruit more realtors in 2024. This whole digital product thing, like what even is a digital product? You know, how would you build it? What's the actual step-by-step -step process? Now I'll give you guys this little sneak peek into how this all works. So let's just say you are making digital product. It's an online course area. You can use your upline for resources and making course area, or you can just repurpose their course area and have their videos in it if they're okay with it you can use all the real estate coaches programs you bought in the past all the mentorships you can use your broker training material and put together your digital product now obviously we actually gave our clients a pre-made digital product as part of our coaching program i'll talk about that at the end but i was here to give you guys value because you want to do this on your own right but you can go ahead and make your own course area and you can spend like about a week creating this and then you go ahead and launch facebook ads instagram ads you run ads all over nation in your country first and you can go north america after even worldwide if you can help them out and you get agents booking with you and now you go ahead and use a proper sales pitch and we give our clients the exact sales script as well word for word that's been used over six thousand sales calls they go ahead and take that and they close people for like a minimum three thousand dollars but some people have sold one thousand dollars to be really uncomfortable selling in the beginning but when you start selling three thousand dollar deals these agents start buying on but the issue now is you're going to sell too many agents on good problem to have so you raise prices in fact some of our clients sell ninety eight hundred dollar deals so it's just a belief and you can easily get over it and a lot of our clients have done that many many times so once you have that going and you get these agents that are buying on now you have like a zoom coaching call once a week or every single uh, bi-weekly uh, or even once a month depending on how many agents are buying your program you have a course area that's self-sufficient they actually go to the course on their own and they learn stuff that you already applied for your own real estate business and on top of that as well now you have a community and all the agents that are buying your program they have a community they can talk to each other it's like a like a facebook group right and it gets really valuable because now they can share referrals with each other they can ask each other for support questions and it's self-sustaining so you actually actually argue the more clients you sell on for your digital product the easier it gets for you because they start helping out each other now when this whole uh, incubator stuff is going on uh, one of my clients Sammy told me he's like he runs these coaching calls once a week and these agents actually DM him like dude when is a coaching call I want to join on like I'm so excited like because they look forward to it so now they're viewing Sammy as his expert and now all Sammy has to do is like reach out to him like hey dude like I love that you're in our community and I would just love to help you even more and would you be open to having that conversation so it's not even like a salesy thing it's like hey would you be opposed to not having the it's like it is like that's how it is right so you really come in with this like you know very low pressure sales approach and that's what you want right and that's the best way to predictably grow your downline your team or your brokerage is use that digital product as a traction magnet because not only we get paid to attract, but you actually will bring in the right people. And I would say that's the biggest thing because a downline, a local team of brokers is only as good as the people in it. Because if your people come in, they're toxic, they churn and burn, they're not producing. Well, you're going to run a low margin business and you're not going to be proud of it. And, you know, worst of all, you're just not going to be happy. And, you know, I think as entrepreneurs intrinsically and uh, from a human needs standpoint, we all want to work less and earn more. And what better way to do this, right? So this is the best way, in my opinion. And if you guys want to learn more about how to actually do this, I actually put together a free training online. I have a 62 page written document as well that go over this process in much more detail. And I have a lot of client interviews that talk about our process in detail on this YouTube channel as well. If you guys are interested, click the link in the description. And most importantly, comment down below if you guys found them valuable value like the video and subscribe and put on post notifications and spread the word now that is pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next time